qualities of believer, qualities of believers as recorded in the glorious Quran. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, but, but for those who believe and do good deeds, there will be a garden graced with flowing streams. That is a great triumph. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. To be a believer is one of the greatest blessing that the Almighty Allah may grant to a person. As Allah the Most High said, it is Allah. It is Allah who has done you a favor by guiding you to faith. If you are truly sincere, believe is the way to enjoy safe and secure life and to gain success and great reward. Allah said, to whoever, male or female, does good deeds and hath faith, we shall give you a good life and reward them according to the best of their action. And said, those who believe, do good deeds, keep up the prayers, and pay the prescribed alms, will, will have the reward with their Lord. No fear for them, nor will they grieve. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that the Almighty Allah mentions many qualities for the believers, including adhering to performance of prayers at their timings, and perfecting all of its pillars with the due submission to Allah. Allah said, how, per, how prosperous how prosperous are the believers, those who obey humbly, those who pray humbly. Then he glory be to him said about them, and he who keep up their prayers. Another quality. Another quality for believer is to avoid what is useless, whether it's a saying or an action. Allah prays the believers saying, those who avoid idle talk. Thus, Believers keep themselves far away from trivial matters and busy themselves with the great ones. Allah said about them, and they turn away whenever they hear idle talk. Allah the Most High also said, the servant of the Lord of mercy are those who do not give false testimony and who, when they see some Frivolity, bass, bass, by, bass by with dignity. Bass by with dignity. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, a sign of a man's good observance of Islam, his piety, is to keep away from that which does not concern him. Another quality. Another quality for believer is giving a charity. Commanding what is good and forbidding what is evil. As the Almighty Allah said, who obey the prescribed alms, Allah also said, the believers, both men and women, support each other. The believers, both men and women, support each other. They ordered what is right and forbid what is wrong. They keep up the prayer and obey the prescribed alms. They obey Allah and his messenger. Allah will give his mercy to such people. Allah is almighty and wise. Another quality. Another quality for believers is that they are a people of chastity and piety. As the almighty Allah said, those who guard their chastity, except with their spouses or their slaves, with this, they are not to blame. The Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, used to ask Allah to grant him chastity. As he said, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, I ask you for guidance, piety, chastity, and self-sufficiency. Muhammad ibn 
al Hanafiya said, excellence lies in three things. Excellence lies in three things. Chastity, patience against difficulties, and good governors of one's affairs. Another quality. Another quality for believers is keeping trusts and fulfilling confidence as both faith and honesty are closely related. The Almighty Allah said, those who are faithful to their trust and pledge, and said, you who believe, fulfill your obligations. In another ayah, Allah also said, Allah commands you people to return things entrusted to you to the rightful owners. The Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, also said, related between faith and honesty, saying, he who is not trustworthy has no faith. And he who does not keep his covenant has no religion. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Among the, the qualities of believers is that they always make dhikr, remembering the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and rely upon Allah in the best manner. Allah said, those who have faith and whose hearts find peace and remembrance of Allah. Truly, it is the remembrance of Allah that hearts find peace. Allah also said, true believers are those whose hearts tremble. True believers whose faith, true believers are those whose hearts Tremble with awe when Allah is mentioned. Whose face increases when Allah revelations are recited to them. And who put their trust in their Lord. The true tawakkul, reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, means to faithfully rely upon Allah. Means to faithfully to rely upon Allah. And at the same time, make use of available means through hard working and diligence. The Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, said, If you all depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with due reliance, He would certainly give you provision as He gives, as he gives it to the birds who go forth hungry in the morning and returns with full belly at dusk. The effect of genuine faith extends to affect the society. A true believer does not cheat. A true believer does not cheat, lies, or break bludges. He is not hypocrite or traitor. True faith purifies one's soul. A true believer is modest, generous. He loves others and others loves him. He loves others, and others loves him. The Almighty Allah said to be one of those who believe, and urge one another to steadfastness and compassion. Allah also said, by the declining day, man is deep in loss, except for those who believe, do good deeds, urge one another to the truth, and urge one another to steadfastness. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, He who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and last day, let him not harm his neighbors. Let him not harm his neighbors. And he who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and last day, let him show hospitality to his guests. And he who believe in Allah, and the last day, let him speak good or remain silent. How much it is beautifully, how much it is beautiful to abide by the teaching of our religion in order to bring about security, stability, tranquility, and happiness in this world and hereafter.
as the Almighty Allah said, describing the reward of believers. These are the one who will be awarded. Paradise as their own. There will be three, there forever. Allah also said, except those who believe and do good, they will have never ending reward. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, but those who believe and do good deeds will be given the garden of paradise. There they will remain, never wishing to leave. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to endear faith to us and make it a building to our heart. Thank you.